Welcome to this video guys. In this video we will be assembling all the parts for the scotch yoke mechanism. I have already uploaded how to make all the parts and I will provide the link in the description. Let's begin. First of all open an assembly file because this time we will be working in assembly file rather than the part file. So just cross these and change the background to plain white and now click on insert and here I would go with the base this is the base guys i have already made the tutorial on how to make this paste now let's import this support just click here and now click on mate if anything is selected just clear in this window press delete button select and delete now select this bottom of the support and top of the plate because i want to place this part on the plate and now click on mate select the circle of the support and the base click ok it can still move it's still not locked guys we need to add one more mate here let's align these holes click on mate and let's select these two holes because to lock all the degrees of freedom or all motion we need to lock at least two holes and now this is immovable this is locked and that's what I, we want now i want the same thing on the other side as well one long process is that i import this support here but this is a lengthy process guys i have a shortcut so just cross it from here and in this reference geometry find this plane and select this surface and this surface automatically a middle plane will be created and that's what we need so what we will do we will find this mirror component and in this plane uh, window we will select this plane and here in this window we will select this part to visualize this right here is the part exactly everything is i mean completed no need to uh, assign any mates so this is a shortcut now i want to import the main vertical support this right here and guys here we can rotate it according to our needs x y z axis so this is the perfect orientation if you don't find the perfect orientation we can rotate it from here don't worry guys okay so we have all the options and servers all the time click on mate I want to place the I want to place this base of the vertical support on this uh, plate so select these and mate click on mate and select this hole select this hole because they should be aligned together and similarly the side hole should be aligned like this because I want to lock all the degrees of freedom now here guys we have a problem we have a problem the holes are not aligned let me show at the back these holes are aligned but these holes are not we have problem in the base plate sketch so what we need we have to click on the surface click on sketch select the line and on this circumference we can find this crosshair and find the crosshair as well now click smart dimensioning and let's find this one 60 millimeter we find it all right so let's delete it and cross this we don't need it okay what we will do click on this and hide now select this hole and edit sketch because we are gonna make it 60 here is 53 point something make it 60 the distance between these two holes exit sketch exit this one as well and now let's show it again this was the vertical support it was hidden and now let's show it and it's done guys the problem is fixed so that's how we fixed issues guys in the assembly file when we used to work in the assembly files we face a lot of issues so we should know how to fix them now insert this shaft here and we can definitely rotate it from here x y z axis 
or we can manually rotate it we want the key at the back side so this is perfect select this face it's already selected from here and now select this inner hole click ok ok now insert uh, this sub assembly I have already created guys but if you don't know how to make it I will delete the wheel and then assemble it again but at least you should have this link now select this uh, shaft dia and the wheel dia click ok outer surface of the shaft and this wheel so that it can be properly aligned and now select this shaft and this hole mm, let's press ctrl z button guys we want we do not want this mate or you can go to mates and delete that mate or you can simply press ctrl z we want we do not want this just delete it guys because this would not allow us to uh, assemble the whole stuff now let's mate these two these shafts and now they they are perfectly aligned all right this this is working fine and now guys let's select this uh, insert component again and insert this wheel again as I told you that I will make this wheel assembly again rotate this we want the bolt or pin side on the front side just make sure about it move it a little bit further okay so select this shaft click on mate as the shaft is already selected so click on this hole it's mated select the outer face and this face of the shaft it's properly aligned okay and now let's click on mate and in mechanical mate we need this slot so click on slot and then what we need we would require this pin to be get selected and thus this slot the slot of the link and now they can move as mechanical slot motion yes they are moving relative to each other and now guys zoom in and let's select the back of this pin or hexagonal head and then select this outer surface of the link and they are get assembled now so we do not have to lock the shaft now when we rotate this the shaft will not linearly move all right guys so here we create we can clearly see an issue because it's not working properly here we have a gap and here we have no gap so what we can do here we need to figure out how much it's lowered and how much millimeter so make a sketch and these lines now measure this length this vertical line yeah 13.24 just cross it we don't need any sketch in the assembly file and now right click on here edit feature we need to increase that amount because it was lowered and we need to remove the mm plus 13.24 enter button and exit this edit part we need to we need to set this mates we need to figure out which mate was that this one this this turn into yellow one this one so right click on it and edit mate just clear just delete these two and select this bore of the support and the shaft and here we go now if we cross it now this is at the middle when we rotate it it do not show any constraint yeah this working perfectly and this is 
the whole file guys in the next video we will perform motion study analysis for this see you in the next video